Hello and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix video. So we're going to be going through how to build a website on Wix and just going to go through the basic steps and hopefully get this website ready and published. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. So of course here we've got a blank template for the meantime. What I want to do is have a design plan. So I've got my header, of course, my section and my footer. I'm going to start off with changing up the, the section first. So I'm going to go and add my strip in first. But before I do that, I'm going to name my section. And I'm going to say it's a hero section. So once that's now complete, I'm going to go and add a strip and just design the elements that I need. So using the add elements area here, and get get to the strip first. So I'm going to add a classic strip in and I'll just drag and drop this like so. And I'll just adjust it to the length. So I have tallied this to around 560. So 560 will do and change the strip size to 560 as well. So of course, this is our hero section. We want to be attracting some visitors in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get their attention by creating something a little bit more creative. So this is sort of the design I like to stick with. Uh, it's nice and simple, simplistic as well, without being too over the top. So I'm going to go to the layout and change my proportion sizes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it at around 60, 30, and 10. Now, what I'm going to have here is potentially a slider based on some of the products available for the website. And this will just be blank for column two. And for column three, I'll have something to do with social media. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and add them in. So for this one, I'm going to add a boxed slider. So a box slideshow, and I'm going to select one here, which is the food article. Okay, so I'm going to have that basically like this, and I'll preview it first just to make a look. Okay, so we need to adjust that back. And I'll just shorten it down. Okay, and then for this section, I'm going to change the color for the background. So I don't need any more sections, but I'll change the column background for color black. And then for this edge one here, I'll go for a different color. Go for a yellow color for a change. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess about with how this looks. So we'll go ahead and preview it first. We'll see how it looks. So of course we need to do some alignment for this. Okay, so I'm going to select this, extend that out, and then preview. Okay, looks a little bit better. And of course I want to add that so that it is above my section. Okay. Extend this out a little bit more. Push that back a little bit. Okay. And what I want to do is manage my slides so that there is no slide background. I would just want to keep that a nice plain white. And just to save me some time, I'm just going to remove slide two and slide three. And now, since I've got all of that there, um, I'm going to have brand. So basically I'm going to just, what I'll do is I'll add some text and then I will be right back. Okay. So I've added some text along and on top of that as well, just to make it a, a little bit better, I've added some animation as well. So of course with each of this area, I've got view our latest blog, check our latest brands. 
first this is where you would start wanting to maybe modify a couple of bits and then our next slide uh, which I'll say biggest trends 2023 and extend that out as well okay so I'll go ahead and preview this and just have a look at how it goes around so it looks like I need to do some adjusting for this area. That looks good in there. And on to my next letter. Okay. So preview this again. And I just need to manage my slides a little bit. And what I want to do is I'm going to change the character spacing of this. And just increase it a little bit. Not too much. Probably about by 1.1. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And now what I need to do is, since I've got that part, I would ma mainly want to adjust this area a little bit as well. And more like have a picture gallery going on. So I'm going to go here to slider. And I'm going to add a boxed slider in. Oh. So a slider gallery, and I'm going to select this. Okay, now I want to use this as a means to showcase products. So adds a little bit of depth into the website itself. So add that, remove my section there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and change the images out. So that's an easy way to do it. Just change images. And of course this might have a ton of different images and I will just go ahead and delete them. As I only want to stick with three since I've got three slides. So I'm going to add some, uh, replace these, these images. And since we are creating more of a fashion website, I'm going to see if I can get some images from Unsplash. Okay, so I got some images there and what I want to do now is just double check the animation and just make sure that everything is all golden. So for view our latest blog, then I would want them to both switch together at the same time. Okay, so it looks like it's doing it right anyway, so I'm happy enough with that. So that's pretty much our hero section completed. All I need to do now is recreate the um, design for the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and add elements. And I'm going to go and select a strip again. Pick this strip and let's see, I want to, I want to make sure that that is around a hundred because it is a little bit too much. And then any white spacing, I'm just going to delete those and change the strip color background to a color white. Ties in with the uh, slider background there. And now what I want to do, just like with uh, what we did for the strip, I'm going to add some columns in. So manage our columns and add a column. And then we're going to manage the columns and change the layout. Manage the columns, change the layout. 202060, 20, reverse it. And change it to 603010. And then I'm going to change the column background color to a yellow and have this as a color black. Change column background to color black, like so. Okay. This is when you would start adding a logo to your website. So you could use the Wix editor logo maker, or you can create some using other platforms such as Photoshop. And I'm sure there are other platforms out there as well. For the purpose of the video, we're just going to use a blank template. So you can see it already coming together. So if we go ahead and preview this and just have a look. That is pretty much how the site's looking. Now, of course, uh, with the header as well, uh, it might not be the same as yours. Now, uh, if you do need to change the scroller settings, you can do so. So I have it so it scrolls with the uh, website. 
but some of them freeze or disappears or fades out. You want to make sure you stick with that one. It depends on how you want to your, uh, design your website. So what I want to do now is add, of course, my header. Now for the menu items, I would want to have, as you can see, like an about us, team, contact. Of course, I can add a couple of more different ones. What I do want to create is a one page website. So uh, I'll do another section and then of course there are some name sections there. I'll just add a new section and I'm going to call this one maybe testimonial and we'll see what we have here. As you can see, some of these are all pretty much like drop down ones. So they're very, very handy to have. Uh, now it has placed it in the wrong area, not to fear. All I need to do is click that section. I'll actually undo that and I'm going to start adding my sections in. So we'll add on a bite first. So something to do with like our story or something like that. As you can see, uh, it already ties in well with the website. Then I'm going to add another section. And with this section, I'm going to add a team. So I'll just do this. Okay. And then what I'll also do is, so since these are repeaters, I'm hoping that if I change the colors, it'll all change the color black. Okay. I'm going to go and change the rest of the font here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll change the font and I'll change the background and I'll be with you in a uh, wee second there. Okay. So we're pretty much building this website as we go here. So we've got pretty much what we need, which is a hero section. We've got a uh, story about our team. We've got a story about our actual business and we've got a contact form. Now, depending on how you want to build your website, you can choose to create a footer or have a footerless website. It's dependent on you. Uh, you can design these if you want to, but what we want to make, uh, mainly focus on is our header. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add an element in here. Uh, since we've got our different sections, since this is a one page website, go ahead and select a themed menu and I'm just going to drag that in. Okay, so you can easily adjust these in as you can see. Now, depending on how you've listed out your sections. Now, of course, we've got a hero section, we've got our story, we've got a team and we've got our contact. So we have a couple of different ones. So it's one, two and three. So what I want to do is I will go on to the pages and menu and I will actually delete these off. Okay, so we'll just delete each one. And I'm going to use add a menu item, select a section or anchor and select this for story. So it'll be like our story. And then our next one here will be another section. And this is going to be the team. And of course, team, you can drag and drop these as well, which is great. And you can even create sub menus. So do one more and it is going to be our contact like so and select contact. Perfect. And drag that all the way down. Now, if I look up or scroll up into the header, you can see that we have three different pages or three different sections. I can go ahead and just drag that down so it looks a little bit more formal. And from what I, what I know as well, that the text itself is uh, the Poppins one. So you can customize the design, which is great. Just make sure that you click on menu items, of course, instead of uh, menu container, change the text out a wee bit. So I'm just going to do the Poppins one. So Poppins semi bold. Okay, great. So now I want to make sure that everything is functional. So preview that website. Click on our story and it brings us to our story. Select team, brings us to team and contact the contact. Now you could do this as well for any other page, uh, for if you're creating multiple page websites. Uh, so it's just going to pages and menu, selecting add page. 
and then you can create a any pages that are either default or creating one from scratch. So that's purely up to yourselves on how you want to create that. More preferred, of course, for e-commerce websites, and it's really good for SEO and ranking to have multiple page websites. Okay, so now our website is coming along together and just say that you are happy enough with how your site looks. All we would need to do then is select publish. And once you click on publish, that will be your site live. And once you get that little tick, you'll get a little pop-up as well saying congratulations, your site is published and live online. And of course you can go ahead and select to view the site. So this is our site. So that's a live website. So of course it's called my site 24. If you do need to change the name of your website, it's easy enough to do so. And all you would need to do is select site and go to the my dashboard. Now, once you've selected my dashboard, you'll get a new, a completely new screen of the components, pretty much elements of all the things that you need for your website to have it functional. So now that you've finished the designing, this is more of the background stuff. Uh, so you, you would have to connect your domain, add your blogs, add your SEOs, anything like that. Or if you're, you know, of course you're creating an e-commerce website, then you would have to add your first product, anything like that. You got to make sure you tick all the boxes in order to launch your website. So going back to the edit site itself, of course, there are uh, other functionalities that you need to take into consideration, like the optimization for mobile and a tablet. So those are the uh, two important factors for website building as well. So when checking out the mobile optimization, just simply click on the top left here, where just right beside the desktop, it's a mobile icon and it'll ask you to switch to mobile. And this is where you could start seeing whether there are some misaligned items within your website. So this is how it looks for us. As you can see, we've got all these other colored ones. Uh, for the purpose of what we need, I'm just going to go ahead and hide some columns. So I can choose to hide columns if I want to. So I can hide that column and it'll get rid of that section. And then I can hide this section if I wanted to as well, as you can see. And then I could bring up the, um, the background area. Uh, for the blog posts, as you can see. So that means that the website for this looks aligned. I've got the team, I've got our story, and I've got the blog post as well. And it doesn't affect anything on the desktop view, which is great. But yes, guys, that is pretty much it. That's a very quick and simple video on how to create a website within the given minutes. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all regarding the video, just let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.